alam ko meron kayong mga kilalang dating katoliko o katoliko pero hindi na nagsisimba o katoliko pero may sama ng loob sa simbahan, sa pari o sa obispo. Katoliko na napagalitan, nataasan ng boses, Katoliko na napahiya dahil sa salita ng obispo o dahil sa salita ng pare. Katoliko na may sama ng loob, may tampo, kasi kay liit-liit ng pakiusap, di man lang ako pinagbigyan. Katoliko na may sama ng loob, bakit hindi ako hinarap? Bakit hiniya ako? Bakit sinigawan ako? Bakit hindi ako pinansin? Bakit hindi man lang nagpasalamat? Maraming ganito at inaamin ko po. At inaamin ko na kasama ako doon sa mga pinuno ng simbahan na nakasakit, nagpahiya, kaya nagtampo, kaya umalis sa mga kapatid natin sa pananampalataya. Unfortunately, we will not be able to stop this unless we rediscover the real meaning of authority. We will not be able to stop the bleeding of the church with Catholics who leave the church unless we understand and we rediscover the power of authority in the church, the meaning of authority in the church. Why was the Lord awesome with His authority? Why was the Lord so incredible with His authority? Number one, it was because He understood that all authority comes from compassion. Authority comes from compassion. Authority does not come from position. If authority comes from compassion, it means that the position of the authority is not to be on top. It means that the position of the person in authority is not to be looked up to. It means that the position of the person in authority is a companion. A companion who knows compassion. Because the great need of our time is not for idols, is not for models, but for companions who are willing to listen, who are willing to forgive, who are willing to understand, who are willing to give us a tap on the shoulder, and be able to say, May awa ang Diyos. Authority comes from compassion. It does not come from position. Authority is not vertical. Authority is horizontal. When we can extend our arms longer and serve one another more. When a person in the church is given authority, it is not a step higher than the rest. When a person is given authority, that person is given wider arms so that he can embrace more people than what he has embracing until now. Authority is compassion. And unless we discover the power of compassion, authority will continue to be abused. The second important component of authority that is credible, that is awesome, that is wonderful, as the gospel says to us, is that authority cannot be separated from obedience. May kapangyarihan at may pagsunod. Kapag sinabi ko na hindi pwedeng paghiwalayin ang kapangyarihan at ang pagsunod, Hindi ibig sabihin na lahat ng may kapangyarihan ay dapat sundin. Hindi yun. Ang ibig ko pong sabihin, 
ang lahat ng may kapangyarihan ay dapat na masunurin. All authority must know how to obey. Because if authority does not know how to obey, it will become authoritarian. If authority does not know how to obey, it will become dictatorial. If authority does not know how to obey, it will even become violent, fascist. On the other hand, my dear brothers and sisters, obedience must also know how to exercise authority. Anong ibig kong sabihin? Hindi ho pwede na tayo ay masunurin lamang. Kasi kung masunurin ka lamang pero hindi ka marunong humawak ng kapangyarihan, anong mangyayari sa'yo? Magiging dormat ka. Alam niyo yung dormat? Tinatapakan, hindi kumikibo. Dinadaanan, hindi kumikibo. Yung dormat, tapakan mo, daanan mo, tahimik lang. But we are not dormats. Yes, we must obey. But we must know our authority. We must know that we have power and we must know how to use that power. Because compassion without justice, compassion without order, compassion without proper use of authority is baloney. It is fake. Authority without obedience is dictatorial, authoritarian. But obedience without authority is dormant personality. And God is not glorified by dormant persons. Authority and obedience must go together. Authority comes from compassion. Authority needs obedience. And number three, authority can bring life by forgiveness. God can bring life out of nothing. Hindi natin kaya yun. We cannot create out of nothing. Diyos lang ang pwedeng gumawa nun. Pero tayo pwedeng makagawa ng bago. At paano tayo makakagawa ng bago? Sa pamamagitan ng pagpapatawad. Kasi kapag tayo ay nagpapatawad, nababago natin ang nagkasala. Kapag tayo ay nagpapatawad, nagagawa nating brand new yung nadapa. Kapag tayo ay nagpapatawad, nagagawa nating bagong tao yung nagkamali. Forgiveness creates a new person. It creates something new in us. And forgiveness creates something new in the one who has been forgiven. And all authority is about forgiveness. Balik tayo mga minamahal kong kapatid. Paano natin pipigilan yung pagdurugo ng simbahan sa mga katolikong umaalis na may tampo, may sama ng loob, may galit laban sa mga leader ng simbahan? We must rediscover priests and bishops, parents, teachers, bosses in companies, chiefs in offices. We must rediscover that if authority is to be credible, it must come from compassion. It must be blended with obedience. And it must not hesitate to forgive. Because when we forgive, we create something new. When we are compassionate, we understand that authority is companionship. When we know how to obey, we understand also that the original sin was disobedience and our way to heaven is obedience. Lord, Teach us authority with compassion. Teach us authority blended with obedience. Teach us authority with the power to forgive, to make all things new. <music>